everybody, <clears throat> this is Pylord177, and I'm going to be showing you guys a new tutorial. Um, this is pretty much, uh, this is a request from, uh, ShadowFlex12, I believe his name is. Uh, he said, can you do the Pixelmon with MC Patcher? Um, because nobody else has done it. And he subscribed to me, I'm like, sure, why not? I look into the mod, turns out, you can't really... Do, you can't really install it with MC Patcher. I've I've pretty much tried a whole ton of stuff, and I've even tried installing it manually, then using MC Patcher to get something out of it. Doesn't work. Sorry, I'm I'm very sorry about that, but it just it, it doesn't work. Um, but that's not going to stop me from making a tutorial. I'll just show you how to install it manually. Why not? Um. Anyway. There, you will go to this this uh, site thing that I am that I will put into that I will put a link into the description on my vi video. It's probably horrible grammar, but oh well. It's late at night. It's about around whatever. Uh, it's around eleven oh six. Yeah. Um, but anyway, you need to get um two things. Um you need to get the first of all, um the mod itself which you click link 1. I'm honestly not sure what link 2 does, but link 1 just works for me. Um, um, um uh, 2 1 Zero. Um, skip ad. Just five seconds. Even though I hate ad fly, still have to go through it. Mm, whatever. Anyway, you click download. Then uh, the download starts. So simple as that. Um, then you go back to here. And um, you go Minecraft Forge. Now, you don't need these things saved in your desktop or anything like that. You really don't. Well, if you're using Google Chrome. I mean, I use Google Chrome. I think Google Chrome's the best internet browser, but other people might not think that, but whatever. Uh, da, 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 you need recommended. Um, direct, because I hate AdFly. And then this it gives you the two files, and I don't know what that X is. Close. Hmm. Anyway, oh, it's probably this thing. Whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, you just click the two files or whatever you do on your internet browser to open them up. Um, drag them to the side or whatever. If you use Windows Seven or Windows XP, you'll do that. And minimize that. Just get this rocket dock. Rocket dock is amazing. Still, as I said before, I've said it before. Um, and you go to on the top of this, or however you get to your roaming folder. If you're a modder, then you will know how to get to your roaming folder. For me, you just open up Windows Explorer, click percent sign. A P P D A T A and then another percent sign. Percent app data percent. Right right there. I'm not gonna zoom in because I don't edit these videos, but still. Right there. Um dot Minecraft. Of course. Uh let's see, and then the you will go to and then you will um make that a half screen as well. And this is Minecraft Forge. So you go to bin and you go to Minecraft. Minecraft dot jar. It'll generally have a coffee thing, but then I felt like putting it on the I don't I don't even know. Should be it should be that that Java thing. I think it's coffee. I don't know. Looks like coffee. Anyway, um, you use sevens, or you 
open it up using whatever archiving tool you have. I like 7-zip. Um, WinRAR, I believe, comes... I'm, I don't know, just, just... Archiving tool. Just use an archiving tool. Um, if you don't know, then just type in 7-zip on the internet and go through the installer. Just easy as that. Um, but now you've got to here lots of files lots and lots of files by the way this is basically minecraft all these files well, plus other stuff but uh, anyway um you click meta dash inf meta inf and oh that'll clear out a lot of things i did not know that i could do that that's good. Okay. Anyway, um, back on what I was doing. Okay. Uh, you click delete. Pop. Yes, you do want to delete the folder. Pop. And now you're left with a meta inf less Minecraft jar. If that makes any sense. And now you click all these files, all these fancy looking files. And yes, you can drag the README, just in case you're wondering. And license. And the credit dot dot dot. Ah, that's better. Yeah. You you can drag anything. Um a stray text document won't won't dis won't completely obliterate minecraft it's a good thing and are you sure you want to yes I am sure I want to copy all this stuff now you got this now you've got a very awesome minecraft.jar that pretty much does just about nothing terrific um now you want to get the Pixelmon thing. It's different than downloading regular mods, and this is why you can't download it with MC Patcher. I'm sorry, Shadow Twelve Flex. Hope I'm pronouncing your name, your YouTube name correctly. Um, but yeah, th this is why. Um, you get these two folders, and you drag them in here. Then you're good. You're good to go. And uh, to be quite honest with you, I have tried um, getting this and yeah, um, doesn't work. Doesn't work. I, I, I've tried. It doesn't work. Um. Yeah, I, I've I've tried lots of stuff. Um, but anyway, uh, even if you patch and then you do all this stuff, or you download Minecraft Forge on MC Patcher, um, and then you put all this stuff in. It's not gonna work. Um, and why is Bandai Cam screwing with Rocket Dock? It's kind of weird. I don't know. I, I I couldn't I couldn't get it to pop up while Bandai Cam was on. Silly Bandai Cam. Um, it's my recording software, by the way. And so uh so yeah, you're good to go. I'm just going to make absolute sure that. Minecraft is, uh, or that the pu the Pixelmon mod works. Sorry about this, guys. It, this might take a while to open up. Uh, recording my desktop um, while while on Minecraft can set the frames down a bunch, and it'll say this, and then yeah, so, something about Java runtime environment something I'm not sure 
and whoa this is glitchy Mojang okay dungeon quest is unfair haven't played dungeon quest um so I think I already set this up with with a world and such you know what um this is what is going to happen when you just want to create a new world uh, let's call this Pixelmon Test World! Exclamation point. Survival. More world options, whatever. Whatever you want to do. And loading a world. I wish it still had the loading bar. What happened in 1.3.2? Come on, Mojang. You know better than that. A derpa derpa, of course. This high CPU suit by Bandai Soft, or is it Bandy Soft? I I don't know. Um, and what do I want? What do I want? Evie, Evie's awesome. And this is basically what you've got. Now, l l l let me just tell you what happens when you install Forge on MC Patcher and then select all this um No, no, no. Wait, if you select if you download Forge on MC Patcher and then do do all the weird stuff that I that, that I did with with the mod thing, first it's just not going to work. If you try patching um, and then install Forge and everything manually. Um, you are going to get the whole Pixelmon thing. It's going to say that you've downloaded Pixelmon and everything, but as soon as you start a world, you'll crash. So, um, I hope this clears out. Uh, I hope Shadow 12 Flex, um, that this clears out any any um, confusion about um, the Pixelmon or just how to how, how to install it manually, which you've probably seen many tutorials about that. Um, and uh, yeah, um, if you've got any questions, please leave a comment below. I read all of them. I reply to them as always. And uh, yeah, this is Pylord177. And whoa, fish! I don't even know. What, is that like a fee bass or something? Oh wow! It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a yeah. I don't even know what that is. Looks like something from black and white. Well, it's white. Anyway, <laughs> uh, this is Pilard One Seven Seven signing out. Wee wee! I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs>